guys, this is my sprouted garbanzo beans. It sat overnight. I soaked it a day ago and then yesterday I rinsed it out and left some water and covered it, left it on the counter and now today look at this look at these sprouts so this is what you do sprouted beans are better than unsprouted beans chickpea 2.0 I'm doing it differently these are the beans that I cooked to get my bean water so what I'm going to do I'm just going to add some ingredients to this to make a curry and those beans were sprouted because like I told you I'm going to start sprouting all of my beans from now on because it's healthier to sprout your beans. I'm just going to dump everything in there and let it simmer. You know normally you would do the oil and simmer the veggies but this is how I'm going to do it. You can do it like that as well. I'm going to add some cumin seeds some turmeric, some cayenne, some pepper flakes, some black pepper, some salt. I'm adding salt because the beans are already cooked and soft. I'm going to add a bit of cinnamon powder and some allspice. So that's it for now. Let's start let's stir this in. I'm also going to add some cloves, the top of the cloves. It's very soft so you squeeze it and it's powdery. So I'm going to do that. The cloves really give this curry dishes a really nice flavor. Cloves and cinnamon, this is one of the ingredients. Cloves in uh, garam masala. But what I like to do if I don't have garam masala on hand, I would use the cloves and the cinnamon powder. So this has started bubbling. I'm going to cover this. And once this is, it's been simmering for an hour, I'm going to add ginger and I'm going to add some cilantro so the chickpeas have been simmering for over an hour I added two of my favorite favorite habanero I'm gonna remove it when this is done I added some curry leaves as well I'm going to grate some ginger here. Add some ketchup. So when I come back, I'm going to add the culantro turn off the stove and I want to do some parata to eat with this. I'm going to turn off the stove and add the culantro. This is what the culantro looks like. The leaves are wide and long like this but it tastes exactly like cilantro and it is just as delicious. So I like putting it at the end because you get more of the flavor when you put it at the end of your dishes. I'm going to mix this in. And 
and cover it and go do my parata. So let's turn to making our parata. I have one cup of spelt, brown spelt flour and one cup of white wheat flour. I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt and mix it in. So we're going to do this like you do a pastry. I have some organic coconut oil. This is refined. It's winter time so it's it coagulated. I'm going to put like two tablespoons. I'm going to take my fingers and start working it in. You know, it's like doing pastry. There's no leavening agent in here, no baking powder, no baking soda. But it's going to be soft and light and delicious. So I'm going to get the water and start kneading this. So if you're going to use oil instead of the coagulated coconut oil, you just sprinkle it like that. You sprinkle the oil like that and you you lightly like fluff it up. So you have these particles of fat, you know the flour is coating the particles of fat. So you have some round pieces like that. I don't know if you can see some round pieces. So when we put this on the heat, it's going to puff up. I'm going to add my water, start making the dough. This is almost two thirds cup water I have here. I think I need some more. I'm gonna put all of it. This should be good now. Pick everything up from the bowl. Get this on the board and knead it. getting smooth and then let it rest for half an hour See, this has gotten really smooth. I'm going to put it back in the bowl and let this rest for half an hour. So my dough has rested. I'm going to start rolling it out. I'll get eight, eight pieces out of this dough. Okay, so I'm going to get this into a ball.
so let's start rolling out the dough add some flour on the board quarter turn quarter turn So these are small paratas. This is about five inches in diameter. My pan is heating up. I'm going to start getting this on the stove. Another quarter turn. Add some more flour so it doesn't stick. Doing the quarter turn would allow you to have a perfect circle or almost perfect, it doesn't have to be. So let's go to the stove. So your pan should be very hot. I'm gonna put this on there. And then it's going to start bubbling in a few seconds. So I'm going to turn this. I did not put any oil on this this is going to be dry you can add some oil in the pan and you're gonna get some more brown color that way but I'm not doing that I'm doing this dry today so these are good I don't know if you can see some of the brown spots here I'm gonna take this off you put this on a damp paper towel over a clean towel and you fold it up so they stay warm and moist. These have come some cumin seeds, roasted cumin seeds that I rolled on to the dough just for some extra flavor. That's optional. See this is puffing up here. I'm going to turn this and get ready to remove this from the pan because this doesn't take very long, like two to three minutes. I have two of the first ones that I did here. I'm going to pick this up and put it on the top here and fold it in the towel to keep it warm. So I did all of my parata. See? It smells really good. These are the cumin seeds. You put it on the board, you scatter it on the board, and then you roll the dough and it's going to pick it up and get stuck on it. I, I like doing that. I get some extra flavor. So this is just simple, you know, this is like a tortilla. This is how you make tortilla. It's just simple flour and water and salt. I'm calling this paratha because I'm, I'm doing a curry with it. But these are all flat breads. So whether you say tortilla or paratha or whatever, it's a flat bread. So I have my chickpea curry here. So, you know, for presentation, we can fold this up. This is very pliable. Let me put it here. Stick it in there. Right? Or you could just put some fresh greens on it, some extra fresh cilantro. But I'm going to leave it at that, so... Do this dish. I know you're going to enjoy it. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.